Joder, pues sí que ya... Yo llevo tiempo fuera para que hayan reaparecido los enemigos. <risa> no todos. Parece. Please say the Oda corpse you're wearing is Clive's. And when you destroyed my machinery, was it before or after you killed Clive? Because you understand, if it was after, on second thought, don't even tell me. We'll just say I'm doubly grateful. Though there is no double reward. Still, this ought to compensate for your troubles. And take an aromatic. You stink like Sisty Pig. I'll presume you mean Arthur. The one you sent scurrying back like a sprat with his tail cut off? Reckon I'm happy he's alive. I'd be happier if the marauders who botched my drop were dead. Funny you don't look like Nelson Mason. Funnier still, I wasn't aware of an existing problem. That thunderhead. Can't hardly fathom how that panned out. Let me guess, it involved blood and guts and fur in places that don't merit mention. Well, you got my begrudging gratitude for cleaning the mess. Okay. Vale. Seguir este camino de aquí.
Bueno, claro. Aquí no habrá nadie porque los he matado todos, imagino, ¿no? Una pena que el mundo abierto, aparte de que no sea mundo abierto, se sienta tan vacío. O al menos yo lo siento muy vacío. Vamos a ir haciendo tepes. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Braxton. I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. Dilated pupils, anxious posture, muscle spasms. She's high on some quality stuff. No! Okay, maybe just a little. Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the marauders and the raptodons outside, you know? told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? You wanna know what I think? This Braxton fella threw away the trappings of society and joined a pack of wild raptodons. Si tu lo dices.
visitor? What an unexpected surprise. Please, come in. Come in. We're armed with teeth. What's he gonna do? Kill us with generosity? That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? Uh... I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. I think I just lost my appetite. Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Sorry, I'm not real good with, uh, names. It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. Other times, it's like there's fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? Me espero lo peor. What a pleasant surprise. And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. Yet the Eternal provides, does it not? The Eternal does not desire that we huddle and hide, crowded in by walls. We all share the spark of the Divine, and we were made to spread it across the stars. Out here, we are free. And even apart from society, the universe provides for us, as your being here proves. That they do. Though it's up to us to make the most of those opportunities, wouldn't you say? Look at me, prattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? That's wonderful. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. I don't know. I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. Mama and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. Oi. He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. Some kind of off-brand drug, maybe? Wouldn't be the first or the worst. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. That was real nice of her. Inviting us to dinner like that. Um... Hey, what are you doing in my room? Liar! You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? No. The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it. Like the other man used to bring.
Ay, Dios. Okay. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Of course not. What better end for the day than a meal around the family table? And what more noble purpose for you than to bring us together? Nonsense. What the Eternal provides, we shall gladly accept. And there you have it. Can't argue with that, can I? Ah, <laughs> 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 